Hello everyone and welcome to the New Tech 3 Play 3P1 Get Started Training. In this video, let's take a look at the home screen, how to set up a session, and some of the basic settings of the 3 Play. So this is the home screen of the 3 Play 3P1. The first option on the left is where you can go to start a new session. Session name is where you can enter a session name of your choosing. Beneath that is a drop-down for selecting an existing session as a template for a new session. And beneath that is an option to manage your storage volumes, which means you can determine which drive your inputs 1 and 2 are recording, and also where to record inputs 3 and 4. We recommend only two inputs per drive, so don't have all four recordings going to the same drive. Beneath that is your session volume, which determines what drive you want to save your session to. Beneath that is an option to select the video standard for your session based on your region, so you can choose between either NTSC or PAL. Now beneath that is where you can determine the session output of your 3Play. The 3Play 3P1 can support resolutions up to 108060 and down to 480 as well. Then you can click Create Session to start your session, but let's pump the brakes on that one and explore the rest of our home screen. Beneath the option for starting a new session is the menu to open an existing session. You can see here that you can select sessions stored on one of the three internal media drives in the 3Play, along with the output resolution of each session. Beneath the Open Session option is a section for add-ons. This is where you can go to access additional pieces of software for the 3P1, including Animation Store Creator for creating custom transitions or animated buffers, NDI Access Manager for managing the flow of your NDI signals in and out of the 3Play 3P1, and an application for assigning macros to a Novation Launchpad device. For more information on this, please consult the 3P1 User Guide. Now back on the left, there is a help icon where you can view the 3Play user guide, the new tech license agreement, and about 3Play will give you details of your 3Play software, including the current software version which is installed on your system. Beneath that is another access point for launching Animation Store Creator. Back on the left is another section for utilities, where you can access additional system utilities such as entering feature keys, for additional software such as Live Panel. From this menu, you can also update your 3Play, defragment the local hard drive, and there's an option to backup or restore your system to factory defaults. And I recommend checking with your 3Play user guide before attempting this option. You can also set a password for the Live Panel feature here as well. For more information on Live Panel, please visit newtech.com. And beneath Utilities is the shutdown icon where you can shut down and restart the 3Play system as well as an option to exit out to the Windows operating system. Now let's go ahead and start that live session. So back in the interface, let's open the 3Play Get Started session by clicking on the name. In the secondary screen, you have options to browse clips, stills, and other media like sound and music. You also have an option for importing media from external sources which will copy those pieces of media over to your session and store them there for later use. Once you're all set up, click Start Session and you're ready to go. Now this concludes the overview of the Home and Sessions screen. In the next video, I'll show you how to configure your 3Play 3P1 inputs.